Hello everyone. I just thought I would uh, make this uh, quick video or try to make it quick um, to show you how to dust the inside of a mold um, and then do a uh, dark resin pour uh, with uh, black powders and alcohol ink. Um, this here I'm going to actually dust the inside of this. This might be a longer video but uh, I'll dust the inside of this mold with these powders, which uh, I got from uh, Woods Goodies in uh, US. And uh, with all the products that I'm using here, I will put the links to the shops where I got them from in the description for the video. And you can check that out after. And I'm also gonna be using the Panada Black ink alcohol ink and uh, this is called uh, black soul black powder from Catlick Studios and I will put her link there as well the resin I'll be using is a liquid diamonds resin and this stuff is really great for pendants and um, cabochons or anything you want to use for jewelry making and uh, this is the hardener and the uh, and the resin and uh, it's a two to one ratio so when you do mix it or when I do mix it I put it where it's like five here and then 20 here so I, it's only like uh it's not a one to one ratio it's not 50 50 so let's get started and I'll uh, start to dust the inside of this mold now I'm going to put this, I'm going to do this koi fish. This is the first time I'm using this brand new mold. So let's hope that it turns out. When I go and do the pour, um, the pour is going to be black. And when it pours into here, it's going to, uh, all the metallics that are on the inside of this mold, um, it's going to adhere to the resin. And once I demold this, which there will be a part two video of demolding to show you what it turns out like. So I will be making a second video. So without further ado, I will start to um, just do the powdering of this, the dusting of this mold. And I'm not quite sure what this fish is going to look like because I'm just dusting on the inside and dusting its head right now. It's going to take a little bit, and I don't have a super fast video to speed up right now, so just bear with me on this. I'm going to try and dust this as quickly as possible. This is a brand new mold I'm using, so I don't really know what it looks like once I demold it. So let's hope that it, uh, it turns out pretty good. So I'm going to dust the... So I'm going to do a copper and a gold and see how this fish turns out. So I'm just going to randomly try not to get too close to the camera so it stays uh, so it doesn't uh, get too blurry on you. And I'm just going to dust certain areas in the scales, like spots. Maybe I'll add some of this, this Indian Ocean powder and do the fin at the very inside there if you can see it. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to look once it's done and I'm hoping it comes out because I've used these powders before in a mold and they came out quite nicely. So I'm just randomly using colors here to see how this is going to turn out. And uh, I hope it really turns out well. I don't know until we pour this and demold it in the morning.
And sometimes when you use these powders and you go over top another powder, then it might not stick to the mold all that well. So what I'm trying to do is trying to blend it, everything. So it depends on the kind of silicone. Usually this white, this clear kind of uh, white silicone uh, is pretty good for powders to attach, to adhere to the to the silicone itself. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to turn out. It could be a total disaster or it could actually look pretty cool. So however you want to do it, see if you can see here now, you can see that it's dusted in usually these powders work pretty good I've made a couple other things that uh, turned out really well using these powders and these are really nice fine powders from Woods Goodies uh, she's got a really nice selection of powders she's got um, all kinds of chameleon powders color changing powders all kinds of stuff so um, I will put her link to her shop in my description on the video. So there we have it. We have the inside. It doesn't look like much now. But once you pour it, we do the resin pour. It should turn out pretty good. At least I'm hoping that anyway. So I'm going to put some more green in there. And your best bet here is to use some really, really fine, um, really, really fine brushes, if you can. Now, when I do the black pour, now the black, there's going to be like maybe spots of black that are going to come out. Yes, it looks really messy right now and everything else, but um, once it gets done... And you got to make sure that everything is covered in here because you might miss a spot. If you miss a spot, then it's going to show up. I'm trying to get more of this green in here. It's not very easy. Okay. So we're just going to move all this stuff out of the way. And the resin pour, this here is the hardener, so we put that in, we put the hardener in first. The hardener is the lesser amount. So it's the lesser amount. And always make sure that you wipe the edges of your bottles off because if you don't, it's, your lids are going to get stuck and then the, airs, the air is going to get inside your, your bottles and end up aging your resin really quickly. So now I'm going to add in the regular resin to the rest of my measurement. If you want, you can weigh this, but uh, weighing it is a totally different kind of ball game if you're going to do that. But I just do it from, I just marked my, my cups. My cups have numbers on them, the measuring cups. And so now I'm just going to stir this. You're supposed to stir this for about maybe two minutes or so, maybe three and a half, depends. And the beautiful thing about the liquid diamonds resin, as you can see, no air bubbles. There's not very many air bubbles at all, which I love this stuff. It, it uh, cures in 24 hours, but I actually let this stuff cure for like two days or more if I want a really good hardening to happen and the temperature of this room now, I would say is, I don't know, it's probably maybe 15 degrees, I don't know. 
but I've shut all my windows for now. And when you're working with this resin, I totally recommend, like, of course, I'm not wearing rubber gloves. I should be, but the rubber gloves get in the way of doing the powdering. That's the problem. Um, but uh, <clears throat> if you feel more comfortable, you should use PPE, which is a personal protection equipment. And you can use a respirator and your gloves and make sure your hands are like, because people do have allergies to resin sometimes. And uh, I totally recommend not sitting over right over top of it and breathing this stuff in. There's no scent to this stuff, actually. It's got a very m minimal scent. It's barely even there, which is the reason why I bought it, because I do like this resin much better. And as you can see, there's no bubbles. If you mix this resin in smaller amounts, there's no bubbles, and it doesn't heat up. And... Uh, I totally guarantee this uh, this stuff because it's really great to work with for pendants and jewelry making. And you can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's very clear. I've poured this stuff extremely just clear on its own without adding anything. And it looks amazing clear. And as for yellowing, a lot of people have issues with the resin that's yellowing. It yellows in six months, whatever. It depends. If you got this stuff in direct sunlight all the time, well, it is going to yellow eventually. But if you're just using it to wear it, you know, wearing it out or whatever, if you're not sitting in direct sunlight for too long under it, then it's a, it's a, good, uh, it's a good resin. It lasts a long time, actually. It's pretty good. So now this is mixed. And I'm going to go ahead and add my powders. Um, the uh, black powder. And you don't want to add too much powder, you just want enough to darken it, which is that is enough actually. And then I'll mix this, the powder in, it takes a while. Sometimes you can, all you do is use the powder, which sometimes is what I do because the powder is actually nice and uh, it blackens pretty nice, this stuff. It's very, very fine powder. And it's from Catlick Studios called Black Soul. So if you can write that down. And then maybe one drop of black. And this is Pinata Black Ink from Jacquard. And this stuff is really, really great for mixing. I only, I use very little of it. And you make sure that mixes in really nice. So now you got nice of black. This black is actually has a sheen, a metallic sheen to it. So I'm done mixing that. We're going to move all this out of the way. And so hopefully I can get this on camera. I just have to watch where, how I'm pouring. So when you pour in here, you pour very slowly. Very slowly for it to fill up. And when you get towards the top, you kind of stop and let it spread out on its own. Kind of does its own thing. If you could see here. And then I'll take some more of this. And I'll just fill in the areas that need to be filled in. And try not to uh, rub onto the, uh, the silicone mold itself. Or you'll be rubbing off the gold. And the powders. And what have you. You'll be rubbing that off and then uh, you'll have your black spots in here so what I'm trying to do is just do this without overflowing it and it's full enough and try to make sure that your table is actually on a level because if you have an unlevel table or a, a desk or wherever you're gonna have problems where the mold is gonna it's going to start spilling. So I have a slight, I have a slight bit of an angle going on underneath my main table here. But uh, this is how it's done. This is how the dusting is finished. Now I'm done with this. And I will make a, a video, part two, of the demolding of this to see how it turns out. And, and then I can show you. So this is my, this is, I learned this dusting 
from another resin artist that can I cannot remember who she was. It was a long time ago, so um, I will put all the links of all the products that I used in this video, so you guys can have access to it. Um, this will be demolded tomorrow, so thank you for watching. And I'm Pat at I'm Mighty Cat Creations, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will show you part two the next day. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.